small part. Top personal score, Sammy Sosa against Jeremy Robertson. And well, now Jeremy's won nine straight, but this isn't going to help if he wants to make that 10. Sammy Sosa's 521st career home run, a no doubter. That ties him with two other guys for 12th on the all time list. Those other guys are really good. Ted Williams. 521 and Willie McCovey 521 as well. Willie spent Sunday in Cooperstown and now Sosa as well 521 homers. His 12th homer in July he entered the month with 10 kisses for everybody. Bottom third three nothing Cubs Jeff Bagwell. He's crunching. He passed 400 homers this year and now well, after his 23rd of the season let's make it 403 in his career. The Astros within one on the two run shot. Cubs up late 5-3. Kyle Farnsworth gets Biggio. Greg Zong goes down courtesy of Mark Guthrie and then Joe Borowski comes in against Jeff Blum and just like like that save number 19 Sammy and the Cubs win it the final from Houston 5-3 Pirates and Cardinals 40 year old Jeff Passero making his second start since 2000 tells Adam Heis do you ain't got to go home but you got to get the heck up out of here 40 year old did not allow a hit through the first four innings next batter Abraham Nunez please next batter Solomon Torres got freaked on an 89 mile per hour fastball Passero five and two thirds five K's one earned top seven Lance Painter pitching Solomon Torres hitting two out man on third nobody to throw to because Painter went down in a lot of pain he leave the game with a severely strained left calf bottom eight Wilson Delgado smacks a grounder to the hole Nunez with the ridiculous play like whoa kids only hitting 228 but that was tight bottom nine Palmero is not a baller but he is ballish Orlando Palmero three RBI 24 for the year that ties the game at three three batters later Albert Pujols leading the bigs hitting 377 11 game hitting streak holla up the middle Before this, the Cardinals had been 1 and 40 when trailing after 8. A's trying to sweep the Angels and drop them below 500 as well. Top one, Scott Hatterberg facing Ramon Ortiz, and this will help. That is a solo home run. You get one point for that. Number eight for Hatterberg, one zip A's. Well, that was so much fun. Let's have another helping. Top third, Hatterberg, Ortiz, home run. Second of the game. Also, Miguel Tejada went deep. His first of the month. First in 107 at bats. Tim Hudson, meanwhile, chilling on the bench. Just hanging out like he's a bobblehead doll, and he's staying loose. David Eckstein. David, Mark Eckstein, you get in this house right now. The 4-6-3 double play. What Mama used to say to him back in the day. Amen. Next batter, Hudson against Darren Erstead, and he missed on that one. Filthy pitch. A six-pitch inning for Hudson. Quick work if you can get it. Tim Hudson facing Garrett Anderson. Deep to right, Terrence Long. Oh, taking it away from Anderson. Well played. Hudson, always appreciative of good defense behind. Bottom nine, two outs. Hudson to complete game. Yeah, Benji Gill goes down. Second complete game of the year. Four hits, the one earned run. Six Ks. A's big, 10-1. Rangers Mariners John, sing happy birthday with me. Happy birthday to A-Rod. You know, everybody likes their birthday. A-Rod really likes his birthday. He's 28. On his birthday, he's averaging 423 with four homers, 11 RBI. Here's what A-Rod did last year on his 27th birthday. He's 28 on Sunday. But last year, July 27, 2002, yoked the walk-off grand slam to beat the A's. Three for six, two homers, five RBI. Back to Sunday when he's 28 years old, top three. Rangers down 2-1. A-Rod bringing it. Hard single to left field. That would load the bases. The Rangers bop 13 hits in the game. Next batter, Rafael Palmero. Soft line drive to right. Only one run scores, basically, John, because Ichiro's got a rope. Watch this. This is downright filthy. As for Palmero, 1,637 career RBI passes Ernie Banks for 19th all time. Still top three after Mark Tashira sack fly made it 3 2. Jason Jones ground ball to short. Carlos Skin just a bit high. Two runs score in that era. Jones only a 154 hitter. Caught a break. 5 2 Rangers. Top nine, 6 3. A Rod. Ay, Papi, I did not know you could do it like that. Ichiro cannot get that one. A Rod gets his fourth triple of the year. Went two for four on his birthday. How old are you? He's, he's not going to sing back to us? That ain't right. Rangers one. Booyah! Jason Jombie, 29th homer of the year. 
21st on the road. The most road homers in the bigs this year. One zip Yanks. Bottom one still one zip Jeff Weaver. Maybe getting some get back when Pedro hit Derek Jeter earlier. Hits Nomar on the hand. Nomar stayed in. The trainer and Great Little checking out the hand. Top two, Derek Lowe brushes Hideki Matsui back. No warning, so I guess you have to brush him back even further. Very next pitch, oh, that's a mad brush back. Umpire Kevin Kelly issues warnings to both teams. Top three, two zip now. Bases loaded for Nick Johnson. Nick getting the tapper. Derek Lowe getting his PhD. Play a hated degree. The guy who beat the Yankees on the 4th of July, nice throw. Bottom seven, three zip, two on, no outs. Jeff Weaver removed. Chris Hammond facing Jason Veritek. Peace. Veritek, fourth homer in 11 games against the Yankees this year. 18th on the year, tied at three. Jeff Weaver needs a hug. He got taken out, and then his battery mate got played. Next batter, Johnny Damon. Do your thing, baby, do your thing. Hammond. Hammond faced two batters, gave up two home runs. He had only given up two home runs the previous 105 games. Top nine, Byung Young Kim to Matsui, who's a tying run, grounded to second. Damian Jackson fumbles, got the out at second. Jeter scored 6-4 now. Next batter, Jorge Posada. Bloop to left. Manny Ramirez chasing Manny. Nice grab. Ball game. Red Sox get their ninth back-to-back -back homers of the year. They win it 6-4. Orioles Blue Jays, Roy Halladay, no decision in his last start, so his 14-game win streak still intact. Trying for the 15th. Last guy to do that, hmm, 1998. Roger Clemens strikes out 15 Orioles, as a matter of fact, en route to that 15th consecutive win. And he was a Blue Jay, and he won the Cy Young that year. That's, that's a very good precedent. Ryan Roberts strikes out. Halladay gets Melvin Moore, who's hitting 329, coming in. Bottom four, Jays up 1-0. Carlos Delgado facing Rodrigo Lopez, and get it. Delgado, solo home run, is 30th. Seven straight seasons now with at least 30 home runs. Still bottom four, 5-0 Jays. Vernon Wells going to take a shot at Lopez. And O'Vern here going to stay in the park for a double. He would also homer. That would be his 28th. Orlando Hudson, Mike Bordick both score. Blue Jays a 7-0 cushion. Alde can work with that for sure, especially when it's now 10-0. More over four and three Ks. Alde ties Clemens' team record for consecutive wins with 15. Allowed just two hits in seven innings. 10-1 J. Dodgers and Diamondbacks. Kurt Schilling hasn't lost against the Dodgers since 97. Top two. No score. Jeremy Burnett's on second. Larry Barnes facing Schilling. Barnes dropping it like it's hot. One zip Dodgers, their first run in 23rd and a third innings. Barnes' first RBI in the bigs in more than two years. Bottom three, Hideo Nomo in some trouble. Two on. Paul Maduka out to talk to him. Shea Hillebrand up. I guess the talk work. Nomo got Hillebrand to pop up to short. Nomo threw 24 pitches in the third inning. Top four, still one zip Dodgers. Jobert Cabrera on third. Alex Cora up. Schilling treating him like a dog. Stay, sit. Schilling pitched eight, gave up eight hits. One run, cage seven. Bottom eight, Dodgers bring in Eric Gagne. Kid has converted 40. Two straight saves. His last blown save, August 8, 2002. On a 3-2 count with one on, two outs, Gagne throws ball four to Luis Gonzalez, barely missing strike three. So with Matt Cata at second, Gonzalez at first, Friday night's hero, Shea Hillebrand, strikes out to end the eighth. Bottom nine, Gagne played Dave DeLucci like a fiddle. Gagne's 35th save of the season, 43rd in a row dating back to last season. Dodgers win 1-0. Padres into the Giants' nine-game win streak on Saturday here on Sunday. Bottom first, one out, one on, and we're in a 1-1 one -one game. And Jake Peavy walks Barry Bonds. You know, that's what pitchers do. Because you've got to. Because that's Barry. Down you go. Take your base. Andres Garaga will make him pay. Doubles into the gap there in left center. Two runs will score. Giants go up 3-1 on Galarraga's 10th double of the season. That's got 120 RBIs and 160 career games against San Diego. Top second, Jesse Fopper to Gary Matthews Jr. Line drive and Bonds coming, coming, coming. I got it, thanks. And then comes up throwing and doubles off Sean Burroughs at first. Oh, youngin, didn't you see Friday? He got a hose. Bottom third. All right, we'll try this again. Intentionally walk Bonds to get to Galarraga. That's got to be like an out if you get buried to just walk. It, well, it saves you one, but sometimes it doesn't always go so well. Galarraga comes through again. Four RBIs in this one. Fopper will take all of those. The Giants beat the Padres 6-2 
22, and they have now won 10 of 11. There's Jose Lima coming in with a six-game winning streak. Bottom four runners at first and third, no outs. Royals up three zip. Royals pitching coach John Cumberland wants to talk to Lima. What will Cumberland tell him? Either settle down, hit your spots, or make other adjustments. I think it was C, because, check this out, John. Jose, what are you? Easy now. What are you doing? I want to lose our PG-13 rating right now. Jose, what are you looking for? And if you find it, do not show us, Jose. Hey, man. Hey, hey, dude. Hey, hey, man. I understand personal grooming is important, but. I mean, shave or something. You ain't got to. <coughs> Tony Penny doesn't know what to think. After his uh, adjustments, <coughs> Got Kevin Witt to pop wide and shallow left. And how Barrow makes the catch. Barrow also homework for the fifth time in 12 games. Carlos Pena up, shallow left. Carlos, I'm feeling you. I mean, I'm doing this highlight and I can barely concentrate after Jose was adjusted. Shane Halter with a chance. Play it, please. Lima, first Royal pitcher since David Cohn in 94 to win seven straight. A month ago I was in the Independent League, and now I'm 7 0 in the Big Leagues again. And I'm doing things that I used to do before. I used to feel good that somebody gave me the opportunity and, and believe in me again. Yes, he uh, apparently did he, feel good. He's <laughs> trying to Royals win five. Talking one. about it with Pena. It is so disturbing. Twins Indians. Hey, Cleveland, one went away from consecutive victories. Tops two, no score. Twins of man on with two outs. Christian Guzman ground. Look at John McDonald. Thank you. He doesn't have a farm. He's got a glove. Fancy defense. There are 27 outs, but some are more impressive than others, and that was a good one. John McDonald, special. Top six, twins up 2-1, two, two outs. Christian Guzman, whole single the other way. Coco Chris going to come up and air it out. Jock Jones, oh. uh, plenty. Yeah, just, yeah, you look at my shoes. Coco got a hose. Third. Tenth inning, we're tied at two. Tim Laker pops up. That'll end your inning. The base is loaded, and he popped up with two outs. Bottom 12, 2-2. Two, two. Indians threaten again. Zach Swordson flies out to right with two on. Strand those. Fourth inning, the fans are just hoping that the Browns or the Buckeyes will start soon. Bottom 14, Laker another chance. This time he comes through with the base knock. Bases were chucked again. Casey Blake will score from third, and the Indians win it 3-2. Tolo Cologne, 4 0 lifetime against the D Rays in eight career starts. Top one, Cologne rocks Aubrey Huff to sleep. His career ERA against the D Rays, 2.86. Javier Valentin went down. Then Julio Lugo, just hanging out in the block, minding his own business. Business for Cologne, seven Ks in eight innings. Bottom five, big tall brother, 6 2 want to hit you. Frank Thomas, big hurt. 25th homer of the year, 401 for his career, two hits shy of 2,000 Sox win 9 1. Reds and Mets before the game, Ford Frick Award winner Bob Murphy told the media that this would be his last season announcing Mets game. The man's called games since day one in 62. Call this top five game tied to Jose Guillen off Steve Traxel, who's kind of auditioning for trade folks if they'd like him. Ian's 22nd, 4 2 Reds. Top six, Adam Dunn. Oh, he a strong one. <laughs> off David Weathers deep into the bullpen. 7 3 Dunn. He ain't no joke. 26th of the year. Kids don't use the word ain't. Announced to the crowd and Shea in the sixth inning, Murphy's going to retire, and then he tells you what he's going to do with all that spare time. I'll become a chauffeur. You're going to become a chauffeur? I'll become the chauffeur. It's just like the honeydew season starting all over again. Honey do this and honey do that. <laughs> we all know that. Bottom it's nine, Mets down eight five. Scott Williamson strikes at Joe McEwing. There would be no happy recap. The Reds win this one eight five. More baseball chatter now with Carl Ravitch and Harold Reynolds. They're hosting the Braves. Top one, no score. Men on second, third for Gary Sheffield. Chops to Tomo Oka. Appears to have Marcus Jowes in a rundown, but my bad. Ball goes into the outfield. Two run score. Two zip Braves. Same inning. Man on for Robert Fick, and Fick was sick. Two run shot. He had two homers on the day. He has 10 for the season. He had his fourth career multi homer game. Four nothing Braves. Second inning. Braves up 4 1. Man on second for Marcus Giles. Giles was on and cracking. That's his second double of the day. Braves busted 17 hits. Giles up again in the fifth inning. Come on, brother. Giles, fourth straight double. That ties a major league record. Braves up 8 4. But the Expos come back, bottom seven down, 8-7. Orlando Cabrera, y'all got to give me that. Lines one up the gap, two-run score. The Spos had 14 hits. Combined, the teams had 31 hits in the game.
that put the Expos up 9-8. Bottom eight, up 11-10. Cabrera, I'm feeling you again. Two-run shot, his 15th of the year. Cabrera had a career-high six RBI. Expos win it 13-10. Marlins a chance to sweep the fills again. Second time in a month. Kevin Millwood on the bump. Bottom third, 4-3. Miguel Cabrera lives with the Millwood and snares it. The glove save and a beauty. Look at it again. Jaguar, Brodeur, Wa. And Millwood, that, there's your foursome. <laughs> Bottom four, Millwood's reflect. Not so Oh! Ouch, Alex Gonzalez got him there. A single for Gonzalez. Millwood, though, would stay in the game because, you know, he's a hockey player. <laughs> That's what they do. Three batters later. 6-5, Luis Castillo. Gap me, please. Ramon Castro will score easily. Castillo will triple. We are tied at six. Standing, cruising in. Bottom eight. Runners on first and second. Still tied at six. Mike Lowell singling. Juan Pierre trying to score. Now, Pat Burrell's hitting 202, but the arm still strong. Fires him. Down you go. Bottom of the ninth, then we go with much drama. Two on. Pierre, a little redemption going the other way. He was three for five. Miguel Cabrera this time going to challenge Burrell's arm and get in in time. Shot for Burrell on that one. Marlins win at 7-6. The sweep now two games behind the Phils in the wild card.